Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the month of April 2018. This month I am doing custom April readings again, so if you want one of those, you can get that at the link in the description below. I am also doing 50% off three-month readings, huge discount, so if you'd like one of those, you can get one of those in the description below as well. It's a great time to get a three-month reading because we are entering into the second quarter. But let's see what is coming up for you this month. Uh, a lot of, I would say, Fate. There's a lot of karmic energy here. Two aces. You really can't beat that now, can you? Uh, but let's see. Two of spades. Changes. Some sort of thought change coming in for you at this time. I feel like it's in because of somebody else. So that popped into my head really quickly. I would say that I think that somebody could be changing your mind about something at this time. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like it could be career or, um, you know, again, I feel like it could be something very simple as well. Like, I feel like it could be something that you're doing. Um, again, I know it's like a really general statement, but, you know, maybe it's your spouse or a friend or a child or somebody coming to you that kind of like just tweaks something in your head that uh, is kind of like a light bulb moment. So let's put it that way. I feel like that there could be a lot of light bulb type moments coming up for you this month. I think that's probably what I'm going to title this video. Next, you have the Six of Spades, incremental improvements, but also fate, jumping into some sort of fated event. So, like I said, more of that light bulb energy. Definitely a card that says you're, like, climbing a ladder. Uh, I mean, I feel like Leo's been climbing for a very long time, but, um, you know, this is a card that says you could be moving forward. Uh, a card of momentum as well. Um, you have two sixes, so, like I said, really good month. Um, two sixes, to me, represents being on the right path, doing the right things that you need to be doing at this time. I do feel like there's, like, a little bit of, like, going like this. <laughs> So, um, I know that's like a, that, that might seem stupid, but, uh, it's how I feel like going like this and then coming back. So, uh, what that means to me is that I feel like there could be some course correction that happens this month. And, you know, I feel like that's okay. Don't beat yourself up over like getting off, feeling like you're getting off your path and then needing to jump back. So I feel like there could be some of that going on this month, but I do feel like it's moving you forward in general. Next, Nine of Hearts, card of wishes, getting something you wish for, getting something you want. So I really like this card, card of victory, feeling victorious this month as well. Like feeling like things are kind of moving forward in the right direction. And I feel like saying finally, so there you go. Uh, but really good card, can also represent long distance relationships. You know, being interested in somebody from a long distance could also be traveling for something. So again, it could be traveling for a job um, or hearing from a job long distance, he hearing you know, that some place far away wants to hire you or something along those lines. So definitely something to pay attention to. Next, you have the Ace of Clubs, my favorite card in the deck. Represents abundance and always coming in for you. Um, I feel like you're just hearing about it, though. Um, I don't, not that it's not coming in, but I, like, I feel like you're hearing about some sort of abundant opportunity coming in for you. I feel like it could be money. Um, I feel like it could also be friends or people coming in to help you, or I feel like it could be love as well. So you know, I think it's going to be different for all of you, but I think that you're going to be hearing about some sort of abundance that'll be coming to you. I also think that it's card of commitments. Uh, you have the Ace of Diamonds right next to it, so I think you have to just commit to something. If things aren't working out for you, I, I think you just need to commit to something. You have to, like, let go of the safety rope, is what I feel like saying. So, uh, you know, it's like, no more of this, like, one foot in, one foot out type of deal. Like, if you're looking to make a change in your career, I think you just have to do it and let go of the old career and just go to the next one. Um, you know, same thing with relationships. I, th I feel like you just have to kind of, like, make the commitment to the change. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Really good card of money, more money coming in. I always say that the Ace of Diamonds doesn't represent money coming in, though. Uh, to me, it represents needing to take some sort of risk, needing to do something um, that you're fearful about to get that, or, you know, needing to kind of, like, move forward and <laughs> make something happen. I feel like, you know, I have another deck that has a dragon guarding the Ace of Diamonds. I think it's a perfect representation of what the card means. It says, you know, you have to slay some sort of dragon to move forward. You have to kind of like face your own fears to get something. And again, for some of you, I feel like it's this one foot in, one foot out thing. And for others of you, I feel like it's comfort. Needing to leave comfort is a word that's popping into my head. So um, that's what I would say for you, stepping outside your comfort zone at this time. Also, light bulb moments by the way. And finally, Six of Hearts, uh, being able to do something that you haven't been able to do, you know, maybe you've been bumping your head up against a wall for a long time. This card, to me, represents a turnaround. Finally, being able to do something you've been trying to do for a long time and kind of being able to move forward, finally. So uh, definitely a good card there. Great card for love, great card for soulmates, and uh, a great card for becoming very popular as well. So not being afraid to, you know, kind of step into the limelight here. Um, you know, so that's what I would say for, for you. I feel like also saying 
I'm just going to say this, a weird message is coming in here at the end. I feel like some of you uh, might be feeling like you are taking something away from somebody else if you do something. I think you need to get away from that type of thinking. I think it's time for Leo to kind of take what is there, so to speak, and not worry about everybody else. I have no clue what that means. So, uh, you know, that's going to probably, hopefully, mean something to somebody. So, uh, thank you for watching. Again, if you'd like a custom reading, link in the description below, or 50% off three-month reading, link down below. And thank you for watching.